Hey folks, so guess what? Today is going to be a special day. Today is an episode that we're probably going to save as one of our favorites. The reason why is because Marcus and I are finally getting back together. It's been over a year and we are back together. I was on call today for work and I wasn't used. They didn't need me. Shortly after I got off work, a storm came in and his flight to another location got canceled. So he's stuck here at Dallas Fort Worth. He texts me, he's like, hey, I'm in town. And I said, oh my gosh, I am too. So we are here. He's coming down from his hotel room here in just a minute. In the meantime, I'm gonna have myself a beverage of my choice. And this one's gonna be a Dallas Blonde, in case anybody wants to know. And I think we're gonna go do some dinner together, catch up a little bit and see what's going on. We're both vaccinated, so we're able to meet uh, together. Hopefully that's safe. Uh, we're trusting the science to make sure it's safe. However, we are still masked up. Get, I, I, I'm just rambling. Roll that intro. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> I told you I got fat. What is going on? It's going, man. How about you? Good. Oh my gosh. Finally got to see you. I got the camera up. Rolling. The boys are back together. I'm telling you, it's been so long. Way too long. Traveling jump seater one, traveling jump seater two. Let's go. Awesome. <laughs> I was just, I just did my intro and then took a drink. Here he came down. We're ready to go. It's been what, a year? Over. Over a year since we've been together. Yeah, since we've seen each other. How's it going, man? Yeah. I haven't seen you since the baby was born. Yeah. Well, that was in May. Nine months. Yeah. Uh, what kind of IPA do you have? Uh, He's an IPA here. drinker. Vanessa, yeah, you don't know this. Gross. Gross. So I was making some videos in yeah. a hotel in uh, Salt Lake City. I think I got in too late to go anywhere. We left too early for me to get to the How did you like that walk? Holy crap. Let me tell you that story. <laughs> so, <laughs> that walk. All right. So he's telling me the story real quick. I'm sorry. I got to tell you. I got to tell you all this. <laughs> So in Salt Lake City, our terminal changed. It used to be just quick, you're outside, done, fun. Nope, not anymore. It, it is, is a 1.7 mile walk. Is it 1.7 or 0.7? Uh, it was a long walk. It's, I thought it was almost a mile. He's saying it's over a mile. So you know what? We didn't I track it. I was almost late to check in to the oh. plane today because I was getting coffee. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a long walk. Anyway, flight attendants hate it. Pil excuse me, pilots hate it because it's such a long walk. I, think I, took a video. Oh. I like it. I mean, it's good for exercise. It's great for exercise, mm -hmm. and I need a lot of that. So, all right. Can you see that? Yeah. That's a walk. It's a long walk. Salt Lake City, American Airlines, long walk. <laughs> all right. So Marcus and I have decided we want to go somewhere for dinner. The problem is. Uber and Lyft cost a ton. At one moment is 20 bucks, at another moment is 50. So we finally decided we're going to go to this place that was recommended by the hotel staff that I'm staying at. They're recommending we go there and so we got a Lyft uh, ride for 30 bucks. Don't like it. Somebody was kind enough to like, here, come with me, I want to go to this other place. We just didn't want to go to there. We weren't in the, in the mood for it. Anyway, um, here at DFW property, the due to COVID, the Lyft and Uber, they've changed how much they charge. So be cautious of that. If you're here on property, it's going to be extremely high. The place we're going to tonight is only, it's just right down the road. You know, it's a it's a 10 minute ride and they're charging 30 bucks. So be careful with that when you come here. Pay attention. If you want to go somewhere, take a look at the lift the the lift and the Uber prices because it is skyrocketed. Anyway, all right. Next time I see you, we will be at Boomer Jack. At Boomer Jack. So we are here 
at Boomer Jack. And it's not far from the place I stay at. Marcus is right beside me. We've, our booth is kind of small. Marcus here. Uh, cheers to you, brother. So good to see you. We got the light shining on us. We got some reflection. Um, this place is really close to the airport. So, it's really good if you're a sports fanatic. Really, really, really good for sports. So, I'm guessing 30 or so uh, TVs. There's big TVs, but all right, I've never recorded inside of a bathroom before, and I did. And there are TVs over the urinals, each individual urinal uh, for the men's bathroom. I don't know what's going on in the women's, but um, there's, TV so, there's TVs in the bathroom. Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to show you that. I mean, normally I wouldn't do that. I just. I just had to get a little bit of the video, but I made it really sh uh, short. <laughs> no pun, no pun. So Marcus is going right now to go take a look at this bathroom with the TVs in there. Anyway, y'all, so um, our Uber driver right now said during COVID that there's not a lot of COVID um, incentives to stay as an Uber driver, that a lot of people have quit. A lot of them are no longer doing it, so the fares are a lot higher, higher and that's for Uber and Lyft, he said. Uh, he said with the um, the stimulus checks coming in, it's just not worth driving. So we paid like 30 bucks to go five miles. It really was expensive compared to the distance that we went. Um, I just wanted to come and see this place. I was recommended, uh, it was recommended by the hotel staff to come here. You know, I'm not a smoker. Marcus doesn't smoke either. But apparently, if you are a smoker, you can still smoke outside. And as I'm told by the hotel driver, the van driver, he said that's unheard of here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. It was one of those places that still allows it. So, Maybe that's why the industry folks like it. Those who smoke, they like this place. But I'm already in love with it. I haven't even looked at the menu. The atmosphere alone is already my my vibe. So, Marcus and I, we're going to do this tonight. Welcome to the Traveling Jump Seaters. I've been recommended by the hotel staff to try a few options. One is the sirloin. Next one is their chicken tenders. The next there was their Nashville hot chicken tenders. So we'll see. I I'm thinking the Nashville hot chicken tenders for me. Anyway, I'm so happy to see Marcus. We're finally back together. Can't wait to do some other things with him and his family and with this channel. So follow along, y'all. You don't know where the traveling jump theaters are going to be at next, but. It's good to be here. All right, so I'm looking at this menu and I can't decide what we want or what I want. They've got the Nashville hot chicken sandwich, house batter chicken, house made hot sauce, sweet slaw, onions and pickles. Yum. Or do I want to do the Monte Cristo? I love a Monte Cristo. It's been so long since I've had one, but do I want it? That is the question. Anyway, take a look at this menu. The menu really sounds really, 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 really good. And I think I'm going to have to come here a few times without even eating the first food. I think this may be my new spot I come to. It's not too far away from a hotel that I stay at, so we'll see. <laughs> So they have spicy poblon pepper smash burger. Mm. And what is your beer that you're drinking? Oh, it's IPA. IPA is my new thing. Is angry Rooster. Uh, our salads are really good. And what was your name again? Risa. Risa? Alright, so I want the Monte Cristo okay. or the hot tenders. Ooh. I hear both are amazing. Hot tenders. Hot tenders are really, the Nashville hot tenders? Yeah, because we have our Nashville hot tenders. That was really 
popular and we deconstructed it because honestly the sandwich is like a piece of chicken like this big. They used to say like four or five pieces of two five chicken and that or like this big. So when we did the tenders, we deconstructed it, deconstructed it and it made it like easier to eat and I heard it better. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm doing the hot tenders. Me too. Nashville hot tenders. I'm doing the fries? Yes. Yeah. Well, the option. Sweet potato fries, onion greens, mac and cheese, and mac and potatoes. Let's do the mac and cheese. Mac and potatoes and fries. French fries. Thank you. So it sounds like we're both getting the same meal, minus the side. I'm getting the french fries, he's getting the mashed potatoes. Right now we're trying the um, boomer chips. Starter. They are the boomer chips. Boomer chips. They are fried jalapeno and ranch dressing. Here we go. I'm going to. I'm going to be grabbing the camera, and I'm. I already think this is going to be my new hangout spot. So jalapeno, ranch, and beef. They got kids in afterwards. They left the. They left the seeds in that one. <laughs> Woo! It's got some meat. I like it. <laughs> um, yeah. So behind us, you see that big TV? And this is March Madness. Yeah. This is March Madness going on right now. So LSU is being Michigan. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we got our Nashville heat hot tenders. The Nashville hot tenders. Look at this. It's gorgeous. Thank you. Hey, it is. That's a good piece of chicken looking right there. It's a ton of food. Of course, I got mashed potatoes because that just sounded better than french fries. <laughs> and I got the french fries because, well, Wee wee wee. Uh. All right, so Marcus, yes. I'm going to do a little interview with you right now. All right, go for it. This is just right now you and I. Nobody's watching. Please watch. Anyway, um, so you're on a layover tonight here in Dallas, Fort Worth. Where were you supposed to go? So we were supposed to go to Palm Springs tonight, but because of Dallas's crappy weather. I'm stuck in Dallas today. All right. So, what do you do tomorrow now? Uh, we dead head to Dallas. I'm sorry. We dead head to Palm Springs, so I can get a passenger. And then I work Palm Springs to Chicago. And how long is your layover in Chicago? 13 hours. 13 hours. So it's not that terrible. No, not one back to LA. And you're done because you live. How far away from uh, the airport do you live? An hour and a half. Hour and a half. Drive. No traffic. An hour and a half. With no traffic. COVID, no traffic, right? Just one in general, no traffic. All right. With traffic, uh, about three hours, three hours and 20 minutes. Ooh, gross. That's, oh, that gross. All right. So, for me, um, seeing you, I haven't seen you in about a year. At least a year. No, I haven't seen you at all during COVID. Since the wedding? No, I saw you since the wedding. I see it nine months old. I, saw, I haven't seen you since he was born. For at least nine months. So, your son is nine months. And, thank you. It's delicious. Can I get a little thing of ranch for this? Um, he likes ranch. So, I haven't seen you, I'm guessing a year and a month or so, we'd have to go back to our photos. But, what do you have planned coming up? See, not scary far. What? Uh, Disneyland, if it's reopening. On what? Uh, what else? Not Sperry Farm. Let's go back to that. What are you going to do at Not Sperry Farm? We're going to the Boysenberry Festival. The Boysenberry Festival. Who's Our producer Joe is craving some Boysenberry jam? I might give him a shot. We'll see. Yeah. Me, I may join him at Not Sperry Farm. I gotta talk to his wife to make sure that she's okay with it, with COVID and all. Make sure she's comfortable. If she's not, I, I'll be double vaccinated by then. 
Marcus will be double vaccinated by then. You get to meet and, Isaiah. And I get to I would love to meet his son. So Isaiah. And Marcus, you're gonna hear it go by either Mark or Marcus. I call him Marcus because that's the way he introduced himself to me several years ago. But his wife and his family and every all his other friends call him Mark. Mark Marcus, same person. So you may see us together again at Knott's Berry Farm. The Boys and Berry Festival. The Boys and Berry Festival. It could happen. All right, so Disneyland, talk to me real quick before you start eating your food. Um, you have a reservation? You do, are you doing reservations? So you would need a reservation, you need a ticket, and you have to be a California resident. We will not let you in California. Do you have to be a... Um, you have to have a valid California driver's license. Only driver's license or state ID. But you, do you have to live in that county? Uh, yes, it's somewhere in California. It doesn't matter where. And because they're only doing what, 15% capacity, and it has to be California residents. Nice. Thank you. Awesome. We're going to eat our food here. And we're getting back to know each other again. It's been so long since we've seen each other. I can't wait to do this. The traveling jump theaters are back together. I can't wait. TJS2. We are back together. Alright, Mr. TJS2. Take a bite of your chicken and tell us how it tastes. So this is the Nashville Hot Chicken Tenders. First bite. I it's splattered. It's juicy. Already I can tell that it's splattered. So can you see that? Sometimes the uh, there you go. Yeah. All right. It's focusing. There you go. First bite. Nashville hot. The heat is picking up. But y'all know I love Korean food. I love spicy food. Chinese food. Everything. The kick is coming in. Okay. Wow. I love it. Right then. So you see how long that took though for that flavor to hit? It was, at first was like, okay, yeah, it's, a, it's tender, it's juicy. The flavor hit at the end. And I can't wait to do this again. So Marcus's first bite. Matt says it's got some heat. A little bit. To it first. Yeah. Alright, I like it. It's got a sweet like almost like a Robin Arrow Mango taste to it. I don't recommend it if you're ever in Dallas Forward. The hot Nashville chicken tenders. For me, the first bite was really good. Like it was really juicy. The second I got that heat. I fell in love. This ass is fire! <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna. All right. To be honest, you're gonna feel this later. I'm just saying. I don't. I mean, it's kind of embarrassing to say it, but you will feel this later, and that's okay. But it's so good, you can deal with that. So, um, this is my new favorite place. I know I'm gonna be here a lot for now on. I already know it. So, I love a sports bar. Overtime Sports Bar Colorado Springs is my favorite. And this place here is gonna be my Dallas Fort Worth uh, as a commuter spot. I have a feeling I'm gonna like it. So, it's pretty awesome. I get to be here with TGS1 Marcus, so. So, finally. You got your mashed potatoes, how are they? They're delicious. You got garlic, garlic flavor to it. Not as good as we see in California, but it's a 
So, the coleslaw here at the uh, Boomer Jacks, the coleslaw sucks. It looks amazing. There's zero mayonnaise flavor in here. Um, first bite, unimpressed. However, this Nashville tender, amazing. Juicy, delicious, absolutely amazing. Uh, Marcus has mashed potatoes. He says they're really good. There it is. There it is. There it is. Perfect. He says it's delicious. But as for this, put it on the chicken. Yeah, coleslaw could pass. But there's so many different things on this menu. I want to try. We're pretty much done for the night. Yeah, we're gonna wind it down, head back to the room. He's staying at uh, airport property. I'm staying a little bit off airport property. So we're just gonna do our dinner right now, finish it up, have a couple drinks for myself. He's not a drinker like I am. <laughs> so um, if you like this video and other like it, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Folks, that bell is really important. That bell lets you know when other videos come out. So make sure you hit that as well. And please, share if you like this as well. Please, let your friends know. We would love to get a little bit bigger. We would love to learn how to do this a little bit more. It's a lot of fun for us. So, especially being back together, we've got plans, we want to do things. And uh, once I, I told you we've got something special that we're going to try to put together. And we're working out the details now, how to do that. The noise is March Madness. Let's go. All right, see you later. Bye, y'all.